Hey guys, Yopan here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Redu The Great War Redux. And okay, I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm so basically what I'm gonna be uh, doing is gonna I'm still gonna continue trying to unify the com the British Empire into the Imperial Federation. Now again, if you don't know what the Imperial Federation is, it's basically I think it was like a proposed thing where Britain would unite with its colonial empire. And probably core it all into one single new empire. <laughs> Either way, the Imperial Federation would just be called an empire, let's just say. The British Empire shall never fall. Just like they say, the sun never sets across the British Empire. And yes, uh, this may take a while. They say, God save the king. <laughs> well, in Brit in today's standards, it's God save the queen, but, you know. It, this is 1912, and, we got it, and Britain's got a king. And it's called the United Kingdom. I find it funny how Britain didn't rename themselves the United Kingdom. Just kidding. The reason why it's called a kingdom is because it's royal. It sounds royal. It's not ridiculous. Oh God! Sorry if I sound a bit tired. I just, honestly, I just woken up like an hour ago. <laughs> I'm probably about to scream some bloody murder. I'm just waiting for this to load up. Um, this may take a while. So, I'm gonna pull this recording. Alright, I'm back. So, everything seems to be how we left it. Um,. We've obviously got the Russian Empire having its independent territories. Um, we, the Chinese Republic now exists with Yong, 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 Shikai. I can't pronounce. I'm sorry if I butcher that name. Then we've got um, Mitsu, Mutsu Hito. I, again, I, I can't pronounce these names. So, yeah. And then we've got the Bog Khan yet, which is led by Bog Khan, obviously. Bog Khan. Um, we've still got Ond Otoro Dukombu Dorzu. I really butchered that name really badly, I am sorry. Um, we got the Dalai Lama, and pretty much it. And yes, we are guaranteeing their independence. It's just in case, like, you know, if we, uh, if China ends up invading Tibet, we can just invade, then we can invade China and turn it into a British colony. I am a genius! <laughs> anyway, so we're back, back to the process of proclaiming the Imperial Federation. God save us all. <laughs> anyway, ban the Croatian Constitution. Oh. Emperor Menji has died, and the Ottomans have joined the Entente because now they're a democrat. Oh, they're democratic. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Right. Now we've got Yoshi Hito. <laughs> Yoshi! It's the it's the lame led by a human version of Yoshi the dinosaur from Mario. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I don't mean this in like a really offensive terms, okay? I played too much Mario. I was just playing Mario to I was playing New Super Mario Bros. 2 on my three on my 2DS before uh I recorded Oh, uh, the United States decided to occupy Nikwana. Nikwana. Okay. Let's hope that's fine. That's fine. They have, um, they have Cuba as a dominion, but yet... Yeah, they have, they have Cuba as a puppet state. America's got colonies! How is that not... And the thing is that, America's against imperial, like, colonialism, and yet they have colonies themselves, which technically that makes them hypocritical. Anyway, so war propaganda. We're going to uh Okay, so So right now we're currently the United British Isles because I decided to form them into that nation, because why not? Um need to work on my air superiority, I guess. Because you know, it, it, it's not only since airplanes now exist in 1912 that means, isn't that means Britannia will not only rule the waves, but they will rule the airs. Actually, I have a fleet and I didn't even sort them out yet. Why am I such an idiot? Okay, I'm gonna put, um... I'm gonna put David Beatley in charge. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, they should just stick. Probably need to work on my naval superi superiority. Yeah. Now we're just gonna have a um, God, the English Channel. And we somehow made it onto the coast of Normandy. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty ironic. Alright, All right, let's, uh, let's actually just, like, you know... Let's have our troops... Let's just have our navy just, like, scattered. Like, patrol the English Channel. Ready to move! Here's the thing, though. Like, with, um, Britain... I'm... What I'm thinking is we join the Central Powers, because... Now you may be thinking, like, why are we join? Why would Britain want to join their enemies? Well, it, we got two options basically, because France, because you know, Britain still has a bit of tensions with France, but at the same time, Britain has tensions with Germany. But here's the thing, though: Germany has a col has a colonial empire. But the thing is that France is a bigger colonial empire. So basically, I'm at a tight ropes here. But you know, the Central Powers have a bit of a foothold in uh, Africa. And joining the Central Powers means we have to go through a giant colonial war with France, and then... Okay. <laughs> okay, Bulgarians have done screwed up now. Yeah, Bulgaria. Uh, how are you gonna capitalize against the, uh... Oh, Roosevelt survived his assassination attempt. Okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, here's a, um, this is what I'm thinking. So, basically, if we join the Central Powers, we can then probably navally invade France, which I don't know how to naval invade still, but I'll try. Um, yeah, I'll probably try and think about navally invading France, and then try and take out their colonies. Then, eventually, I'll be able to... Then, after that, I can focus all my forces, head towards the Eastern Front, and actually capitulate Russia, and then probably colonize that and make it part of the Imperial Federation or something. Not really, I shouldn't really make a monarchy into a, another freaking state. I don't know. Anymore. But yeah, let's just say. Here's the thing, we gotta. Here's the thing, we take out the French first because they're going through the anti German policy now. Um, 
Wilhelm II is going to invite Romania into the Central Powers. That will give um, the Central Powers a bit of a foothold in but the Balkans. Because they can, because here's the thing, if Germany completes uh, Bruderkrieg, it means uh, Brother War, it means that uh, Germany will be able to attack Austria, annex Austria, get rid of Franz Joseph I, and Romania can collect some of those territories, and then eventually there'll be more nations into the Central Powers. However, um, Glacia, however, the fear of Glacia would really depend on... Uh, who they will oppress their allegiance to. Will it be the government of Malorussia? Or... Poland? Or will Glacia just become another puppet state of the Russians? That... is what I, uh... That's exactly what I really want to, you know, make sure about. However, what the Ottomans should do is probably sign a freaking peace treaty right now. They had literally been screwed over in the Balkans, and they joined the Entente while they're at war with the Balkans. Yeah, um, Turkey, sign a white piece or something. Jeez. Bulgaria only got, like, all of its territory it probably wanted. They probably wanted to get their empire straight. Dun, 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 dun. Now, the thing is that if Italy wants, it can invade the Ottomans, but that means it will pull the German Empire into a war against the Entente, which that will cause Germany to collapse, because here's the thing, though, because, you know, if we don't want Germany to fall, then we're going to have to, obviously, like, obviously they need to get rid of the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire, because it's the thing, if France declares war on Germany, then that means the Balkans will probably side with the Axis if they decide to dismantle that league. And, and Austria-Hungary would be... would join the Entente on the side of the, uh... which means they can just n invade the Balkans, hand that over to the Ottomans, maybe take some as well. Uh, Romania would then be screwed because they're part of the Central Powers as well. But Romania could get destroyed as well, which means Russia and Austria can push into Germany. Austria can also... Austria and France can push through Italy, and war would be, and it would be game over for both of them. They both would lose the war. So that's why, like, we need to plan a really good strategy. So, if I, like, even though it may look like the Germans may be able to hold the Russians off, we don't know for sure because um, Germany may decide to invade Belgium, and Belgium could have French forces coming right through their borders, through uh, Wallonne, and then... And Luxembourg as well, forgot about that. And Luxembourg too, and they can just push all the way to Berlin. As well with the Russians, again, the Russians can do the same exact thing. And if Austria-Hungary joins the Entente, then that means, uh, yeah, the Great War would just end quick, quicker, because obviously Germany would have to fight a three-front war. The, the Eastern Front, the Austrian Front, and the French Front. So, and you know, if we don't want to join a faction, that would be losing. Because if we join the Central Powers while they're losing, we're basically going to be all alone and we're going to have a disaster safe file. I'm probably going to have to send to Alex the Rambler just so that he can, you know, <laughs> fix this up for me. <laughs> Which I highly doubt that would work. Because first of all, like, that means, you know, Germany loses. I have to sign a white peace with the French. Which means I would have to be forced to surrender. That means I would lose a lot of my colonies to possibly the French and... Yeah, to the French and the Ottomans. And... Italy would lose, and, you know, that'd be it. It would be game over for me. That's why, if we want to succeed, we need to proclaim our Imperial Federation first. But we also uh, need to be able to, you know, try our best to... Well, we need to make sure that France does not go... But obviously they're going to reinforce the Republic's authority. Now, they could have invaded now, but they haven't yet, because, uh, you know... Like, but it's mainly up to, you know, it's mainly up to the focuses. Like, it's up to the AI if they really want to invade Germany right now or not. If they invade Germany now, that means uh, we, have to, we have to stay out of any war. Look at that. We have a negative opinion on uh, the Germans. And they've generated world tension. But we can improve our relations with the Germans 
if we have to. Now, the other option is a Romanov alliance, but the... But obviously Russia hasn't completed a, um, a certain focus. Oh, do we get a, a, a claim on Alaska? Uh, nope. If we did, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> but no, we don't. But, yeah. That's why I think, like, joining the Central Powers would be a beneficial option, since, like, I can invade, I can navally invade France. They can, Italy can invade from the south, and Germany can invade from the north, through Belgium. And all we gotta do is just hold them off at, like, a captured area until the Germans can deplete much of the French armies, and then we can start pushing in. I'm sorry to any of my viewers that are French. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry to anyone who watches this and they're French. I do not, I do not want to go against you guys, like, you know. I need, obviously this is a video game, and, you know, this game isn't supposed to, like, offend anyone. Why is Russia and Germany on good terms? Why? Why? They're both supposed to be enemies. Legalization of Marxist literature. Oh, here we go. They're gonna do the Brothers War. They're gonna do the Bruder War. Wait, I just realized something. I haven't created my freaking NG agency yet! Director of Military Intelligence, thank you. I keep forgetting, I have the La Resistance mo uh, DLC. Which means, like, I can put spies in any part of the world and I can recruit people and steal their data. <laughs> uh, hacker moment. Oh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting that you put any exists. Um, why do I keep looking at Russia? It's because Germany and Russia are on a good terms for some reason. Like, why? They... Germ... Germany and France hate each other, but Russia and Germany like each other. Instead of being part with the Italians. I mean, instead of being part with the French, but I think it's actually because of the uh, focuses that Germany's been giving to Russia. But, um... As for... Oh god, France was... Okay, France navally invaded Bulgaria. <laughs> That's something you never see every day. Are they trying to go full on colonialism? I swear, they're gonna need to sign that treaty, like, ASAP. Oh, wait, they're screwed, like, so badly. Mm, what's this? Um, oh, the kid is a time. Anyway, let's see here. So Russia's doing the legalization of Marxist literature. Germany's still doing the Brothers' War. Uh, they're, France is reinforcing the Republic's authority. Um, the Austrian Emperor is just giving the Czech Republic the biggest F mill finger right now by dissolving their parliaments. Um, Italy is doing the... whatever that is, I don't even know how to say it. Um, Switzerland is just selling weapons, because they're neutral. Uh, Spain is doing the armament efforts, uh, chemical warfare, um, Brazil is still doing their, um, their thing. Um, let's see, China is doing the militia reorganization. Japan is doing the indo -Christian. Mongolia is, um... Doing their army efforts, so is Tanatuva, so is Tibet, um, so is, okay, so is the British Raj. Um, Ursum's country is doing the doctrine effort. My, my home country, my birth nation, is doing, um, the Lithgo arms. Wait, Lithgo? Do they have a, they have a unique focus tree, don't they? Oh yeah, they do. A federal army, the Defense Act. Alright, they're doing, like, a lot of Mostly just organizing all that. Imperial security. Yeah, they're doing most of the, uh, things. But I think we're doing fine. Um, okay. So yeah, that's basically all they're doing. Um. 
We gotta keep an eye on the Russians though, because they could do they could be pretty shady. Even though like the Entente has expanded like greatly. Like here's the thing, we might need to reinforce Egypt if we're gonna go to war against the uh against the Entente. Because the uh, the Kedivet of Egypt is um you know the Kingdom of Egypt is obviously bordering the Ottomans who are in the, the Entente. So who knows, perhaps we'll see some German-British co colonialism on the Ottomans. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see how that would work. Okay, we uh, we got our... Okay, we've got our uh, directorate thing. We're gonna... Our, we'll start with intelligence. Um, alright. Okay, we can, we, we can recruit an operative in 27 days. Um, hmm. Not much is interesting is going on, other than Germany's about to do their brother's war. I'm still doing my Imperial Federation, uh, focus. Also, can I just mention a fact? That's a cool-looking flag. Not gonna lie. It's got the American flag, the Australian other flag. It's even got the Canadian flag mixed into the British flag. It, that just looks so cool. So, with that flag, I think it means, uh, yeah, the United States is probably gonna come home to us. Which will be fine, because, you know, they've got Hawaii, and Hawaii still got that British flag. Why does- I don't get it! Why did Hawaii decide to have a British flag in their- in their state flag. They should probably change that because, you know, because uh, Hawaii was never really part of the Commonwealth and it's not even in the Commonwealth right now. It's just a state within the freaking, you know, thing. I always wondered, is California a republic in, um, yeah, I've always wondered, is the state of Texas is here? But I'm always wondering, is California a state or a republic? Because like, it, I, it or should I say like more of like an autonomous republic? Search that up, actually. Um, it. What is California? Full name. Okay, hold on. The bear flag republic. <laughs> they they still have the bear flag today, fun fact, and I'm pretty sure. Ooh, brothers war, brother war. <laughs> now we get to really see. Okay, so we've got the. Germans and the Italians and the Romanians versus the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Now, this one will be much more interesting because this one's because obviously Austro-Hungary is going to collapse now because they're being surrounded, and that means Hungarian rebels. See, told you. And the Hungarian People's Republic has joined the Central Powers. See, the Austrian Empire is collapsing. Which means, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Like, even though it could also mean the collapse of Hungary, of the Hungarian Republic. Like, they're fighting against an empire. It's like two, it's two kingdoms versus one kingdom with a republic in the center of all of this issues. So, yeah. Uh, Hungary might want to give that back to uh, Romania. The Romanians would probably be very angry the fact that we don't even have a territory. For that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for the one that actually has the most thing. Cause it looks like this dude's. Oh, this one's uh has. Oh, this one is multiple ethnic groups at the same time. You're hired. All right. Um, gonna. 
Do some blueprint stealing. Alright. Let's see here. Um. Uh, okay, obviously they're still doing their own thing. Um. The Sodom of... The Balkans hasn't surrendered yet. Yeah, the Balkan League hasn't surrendered yet. So that's something. Um, I think it's because, you know, the Ottomans have joined the Entente, and now... Basically, basically it'll just be a never-ending war between the Entente and the Balkan League. Or the Balkan powers. <laughs> Technically, that means World War One is happening right now. It's just, it's mostly a stalemate in, um, the... Yeah, it's mostly a, a, um, a stalemate in, mostly in Fra Eastern Thrace and New Nia Ortelas. I, how do you even pronounce these names? What, who made up these names? Anyway, so yeah, Turkey's getting their butt kicked, um... Yaltana is growing, has grown much more bigger, but I think it's because of Russia's puppet states, because... Yeah, the reason why it looks like the Antine has more allies is because of Russia's puppet states they have. Because of the whole Soviet-Russia, um... Alternate focus. Emoji did voice and set because it's like emoji for his uh, thing. Not really much is happening. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure if Germany loses, they're probably going to be forced to become the North German Confederation again. Because like, Prussia and all that would have to be independent. Well, not really the North German Confederation, but... Let's say that Germany would probably have an occupation, would end up being occupied if they lose. Yeah, they're basically struggling with the bulk. The Balkan League is literally struggling, trying to hold back the Turkish armies. I've, again, I think it's because all the uh, Russian troops that just went through Turkey and then stopped past Constantinople and stopped at uh, Eastern Thrace or um, Nia or Estatia. So I, I need to stop butchering these names. Like I, I just I can't pronounce them well. Oh, we're so close to the Imperial Federation. We could get a rule Britannia moment. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. Britain never ever ever shall be slaves. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. Dun 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 Okay, we're gonna do another research. Um, I haven't focused on my industry. Like, I haven't focused on um, on um, you know, I haven't focused on my things. I've been conserving my resources for other crap. What is with Flashlighter and his bread? 
I swear, he's turning into a bread hoarder. Hold on, I'm gonna say it to him. Right, um, let's do, let's do operative training, because I think we'll, um, let's see, intensive training, techniques, diplomatic training, yeah, diplomatic training. We could probably try and establish good relations with the Germans, because we're basically trying to, like, establish good relations with the Germans. Alright, we're roughly about, uh, ten more, eleven more days till the Imperial, f until, for, basically... Until the, uh, British- Okay, ten more days before the Imperial Federation is completely established. Some bread loaf. Oh, why? Alright, let's see. So we got the Hungarian Republic still- I told you, the Hungarian Republic screwed. Pardon me. Great, bread is becoming a massive trend on flight spot server now. Ah, crap. Alright, um... I'll do some nation building, even though that will cost me a lot of political power. I don't give a crap anymore, because I've got like thousand. Oh, here we go. <sighs> we are done. We are done. We are done. Behold, <laughs> we are now. Hold up, 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 hold up. Oh my God, it's probably because I'm annexing a lot of territories. We are now the Imperial Federation. Britannia has finally ruled the waves. <laughs> Pog! We have everything! We have the Imperial Federation! We've annexed the colonies! We have persecuted the masses! Okay, we didn't actually... But we have all the colonies, and that means I'm in charge of all this, which is going to be really hard for me to cope with. I even annexed Lollipop's nation! And the sorry, Lolly! At least uh, the British Raj and South Africa is still independent. But so far so good. We've annexed like totally like every single freaking like almost every single part of our colonies, except for India and South Africa. So I don't think they would appreciate being annexed. Okay, they're still occupied states, obviously. Um. Yeah, so is Canada. It's been mostly residing in, um... Let's see, it's Australia. No, it's a colony as well. Yeah, it's mostly colonial states, like occupied states and all that, but hopefully Call it doesn't in. spark any rebellions. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna leave some troops on the, the borders. Um, I'm gonna, if I want to protect my colony, to to, I will have to put all my troops as one garrison. I'm gonna put them all over Australia and New Zealand at the same time.
Oh, we've also got Canada's and Australia's uh, troops as well. That'll be good. That's good. Here. Ready to move. All right. They haven't trained any troops this much. Do Get I have? To... Why? I can't rely on the Canadian troops all the time. You know. Wait. What? Oh, right. There's a blockage here. I'm going to find my troops. Um. I haven't even, like, given, like, army groups. Ready, sir! Ready! Alright, here we go. We're gonna put army groups now. Um. Attention! I'm going to all right so we're gonna basically remove all our troops and we're going to put our army group first Which means dot 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 orders I don't care. Listen up. All right. So now we've got our colonial empire. We've got our imperial federation. Hurrah! But we can't do um, tear up the Declaration of Independence. Sadly. So we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, we're going to do some infrastructure ads. Um, alright, good. We can finally increase our navy as well. Wait, I forgot, we have our na do we have their navies? No? Great. No navy. Just what I don't like about this. Oh, we actually get more, uh, division templates as well. That's actually good. I'm gonna just put a freaking sus image. Ah, okay. I can finally do this. I can just spam all these divisions. And I can probably, like, put them all on the United States borders now. So I can just give the United States a bill and biggest middle finger. Because now, now that we have the Imperial Federation, um, that means we have 66 divisions, but the United States has, uh... I don't know, we don't have enough intel on them. Probably, like, much more than we do. To the point I might need to spy on them so I can encrypt their thing. To really see how much they have. But from what I guess, uh, probably not a lot. But I will, however, keep All them in. at their normal positions. I just meant to click on that. We're going to divide the troop, because here's the thing. The United States could be a big threat, and they, because the United States Attention. probably won't... The United States won't like what we just did, so we're going to have to... Yeah, who, I forgot. Who is it again? Um... Oh, Wardrow Wilson is now in charge. Yeah, Wil Wardrow Wilson... Will okay, Wilson's not going to like the fact that we annexed uh, Canada, which is against the American sovereignty, I guess. So, we're now the Imperial Federation. Um, which means... Yep, here we go. After a long period of conferencing, debating, compromising, and demanding, the British Empire has finally completed the process of federalization into one political entity. The new Imperial Federation gives democratic consummate rights to all its subjects, as well as superseding the Imperial Parliament, based in Ottawa. Millions of people across the globe celebrate, and it seems a new dawn of British imperialism is upon us. Here's to empire. Those who know England no, not England. The sun that never sets. That's right. The sun has never set truly on the British Empire. So now, um, yeah. Guerrilla warfare in Darfa. Must find him. So, oh, uh, wait, did we annex Darfa? 
Okay, we didn't. I was, oh, we did! We annexed Darfa. Okay. I was wondering why. Yeah, they're mainly just occupational states. What? Is Canada rebelling against me now? Yeah, Canada is already dead, so, like, why is it. Why is it competing? I'm confused. Anyway, Austria-Hungary has completely destroyed Hungary. The Hungarian rebellion is just screwed. It looks like a freaking that actually looks like an actual freaking rebellion. <laughs> Re the rebels have risen and now they're fighting back. Oh, we've got low manpower. All right. Um. All right. What do we do? 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 What we? What do we do? Wait. War propaganda against the German Empire. No, I'm not going to do war propaganda. Okay. Integrate local administrations. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Badly. All right, so now we've completed the Imperial Federation, Rule Britannia. We can now get, continue on with our focus as normally. So now, because again, we now have the Imperial Federation, and they still have the British flag there. <laughs> yeah, Pax Britannica. The United States pro protests the formation of the Imperial Federation. Are they threatening us? It seems like it sounds like they are. <sighs> casual Americans these days. Oh, casual US presidents these days that are worried about Canadian aggregation. <laughs> Can't really stop our federation from rising even further. We could probably even take you out. While you're in a border war against Mexico, we can go ahead and just annex you all. But right now we can't because we need to complete God Save the King or something. We need our uh, we need our British government to fall, so which um, yeah that means well the Lord Protector of England we could go down this route but let me just the Ottoman Empire we can. We basically, we could actually go to war against. Actually, we can puppet Abenicia if we want to. But, I don't know, Lord Protector of England. It sounds like either way, we gotta tear up that Declaration of Independence. Kind of funny, because Axel Rambler actually invaded the United States on 4th of July. <laughs> it was so ironic as well. Anyway, so yeah. It could be possible we're going to be doing round two. <laughs> but they should know we're a democratic nation still. <laughs> yeah, we're basically under democracy, which means, like, we can't declare, we can't justify any war goals, I think, right? Yeah, we can't justify a war goal against them. They're just consolidating the Entente, that's just it. And all that Russia's doing is just... <laughs> all Russia and the Ottoman Empire are just doing is just find the Balkans. <laughs> just still find that Balkan war. Even, the Ottomans actually... Oh, the Ottomans did a naval invasion in Albania. Alright. See, I told you! Why does... Why did Serbia decide to allow Bulgaria to have that much territory? Doesn't, I don't get it. Anyway, looks like the German Empire, it, it has uh, cut off Austria, and that's actually sli it's slicing up Austria really badly. Austria's just being screwed so harshly. Like, it's actually just to the point, is it really that funny or is it this sad? Uh, rest in peace, Austria-Hungary. You basically just got screwed over by the frickin' Central Powers.
Anyway, so far so good. Um Yeah, I mainly wanted to see if, um, let's, what will happen if, um, you know. Because obviously the Austrian Empire is fighting against the Central Powers, which is Germany, Italy, and Romania. Which is kind of really sad. And they, they have, they decided not to join the Entente. Like, they could, honestly, they could have joined the Entente, and Russia could have, like, came in and swooped in and just destroyed Germany. But no. I think it's because, like, the Entente still don't like Austria, so they're probably just... Germans are probably just doing them a favor. Or making matters worse for them, because basically that means, like, you know... <clears throat> although, like... Ger Germany is also doing Hungary a big favor by giving them greater Hungarian territory. That's what it looks like. Um, let's see, we've got Contain the Kaiser, which is... Basically, just making a democratic Germany. Which, by the way, fun fact: you do that, and then Germany loses. It's but it's really ironic because like Germany is supposed to like rem like because Germany has still had a monarch, but because they lost the Great War, they became a Weimar Republic while they still had Wilhelm II on the throne. It was mainly a King's Republic, but then like after that, hit oh, uh, the funny mustache dude. Funny artist mustache person came in and just and still allowed the Kaiser to have power. <laughs> like, who's really in charge? Is it the leader or is it the emperor? I think you guys know who I'm referring to. I'm not gonna say his name, even though I almost said it. Um. Uh, why is this dude replacing governors? Oh, snap. Dude's screwing up big time. He's actually going to try and put himself as Emperor. Which means, like, you know, Puyi is not going to be happy about that. The fact that he's getting his throne usurped by, uh... By, uh... Baking protesters. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Let's check Brazil. They still got their military at aviators and all that. Um, Wilhelm II is in investing in Ost Africa. Well, for some reason, still remaining good times with the Russians. For them, it's so far. For the Central Powers, though, it's so far so good that they are still invading Austria. Um, but it looks like Austria is getting destroyed, like by all sides, except for the Balkans, because they're too busy dealing with the Russians and the Ottomans. What the hell? Oh, Mexican Civil War time. Sorry, PPG. <laughs> All right, we've got the freaking Mexican Mafia versus, um, well, not really Mexican Mafia, but Mexico versus Mexico. It's I th it's Mexico versus the Mexican Federation. One's authoritarian, one is democratic. And I'm putting my bets on the Mexican Federation. Well, it's called the Mexican Civil War. <laughs> well... Like, hopefully they don't ruin all their tacos while they're fighting. Like, I bet they use tacos for their, um... Okay, I shouldn't really say that. That's, I, what I'm saying is gonna be racist, and like, then, like, I'm gonna hate base. Again, if I say anything that's pretty offensive, I am sorry. I keep saying this because, like, you know, I don't want to get, like, a freaking hate base because... I make mistakes. I've been making mistakes. Anyway, I guess they lost their border war with the United States, and now they're basically at war with themselves. I like greatness. <laughs> well, you do your thing, amigos. Just don't be careful with the um. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't really know anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to what we're doing. Let's get back to what we're, we're watching. Um, Austria is nearly destroyed by the Germans. Um, the Central Powers' his name is completely screwed up because freaking Austria is being invaded on all sides and they're resisting pretty goodly. It's mostly it's mostly a stalemate now, right now. While still dealing with Hungarian rebels and all that. However, they've recently actually. It seems like they actually managed to push into uh, Romain parts of Romania. Good for them. However, it looks like Romania is still kicking them out of their country right now. Uh, Germany is holding their fronts. It looks like Germany is holding still on the uh, Alps Alpine front. Um, now, Italy is uh, trying to push through uh, Trentio and Tyrol, and South Tyrol. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna... So let's change our uh, weapons as well. We're gonna need more light equipments. We also need better weapons. Um, well, Far Cry 6 is coming out, and who knows? If I get a capture card, I might do a gaming series on uh, on um, Far Cry 6, if possible. And in case you guys are wondering, like, why is my channel right now being half gaming, half Guanimate? Because that's basically what the goal of this channel is supposed to be. It's supposed to be both for gaming and Guanimate videos. And sometimes memes, if I felt like it. <laughs> Just like that one NASCAR meme I put. And yes, I did, I did put credit. I swear, why is Lollipop a weeb? Oh. Yeah, I'm not really. You know, if you guys like, I might do a Let's React on um, another attempt at Exotic Assault. Because here's the thing, though. Like, originally, I was going to go on Fleshbus Livestream React from it there. But, and that was before I was doing, about to do, let, that's before I did Let's React. But, um, let's just say I had a 7, I think it was like, I had like a 7 a.m. sleep time. Because, like, my, I couldn't sleep, like, until like 7 a.m. Where basically I ended up falling asleep. And then, like, all of a sudden, I basically ended up falling asleep. And then I woke up at, tw I think it was like 12 p. I woke up at like 12 p.m. and flashed what was live streaming. And you already did that reaction video without me. But I blame myself for that. That was my fault. That was my fault. I actually, I actually ended up like. Basically, all what happened was I ended up accidentally, like, falling asleep, fell asleep, and I woke up and Fleischl was live streaming. The thing is, that I always have my mom to wake me up whenever Fleischl about to do a live stream. And yes, I have an early time schedule if Fleischl was live streaming. Don't ask why, it's because he falls asleep, he goes to sleep at like freaking 5pm. And I don't even get that much time on the stream because, again, obviously I'm asleep. Which is sad, but... What else could I do? I couldn't do crap. I'm gonna do some war propaganda, try and increase our war support. Uh, so far, war support is just basically just... <laughs> it's obviously just crap. We're just trying to... Oh. Uh, we just lost someone. Damn it, he died! Who else will I have to... How am I gonna replace him now? Um... 
Douglas Hyde, you're now my new minister of war. Um, alright, I'm gonna get more planes. I'm gonna need more planes. Like I said, I am terrible at division assignments. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna need to continue on with that. I'm gonna need some infantry divisions as well. Well, oh, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna need some infantry. Uh, I'm gonna need life horse brigades. I guess I will have to design my own divisions. I need armor cars in there. Lost. Attention. All right. But anyway, I'm gonna sign some troops onto the U.S. border because the United States could potentially invade soon, and I don't want them to complete some of my forces in um, Canada. Fall in. So basically, all they're gonna do is go to their ports, and they're going to sail all the way to Canada. Also, sorry, look for it. <laughs> oh, peace treaty. Mexico finally ended civil war. Yes, they did. And would you know, the Mexican Federation won. <laughs> Yay for the Mex. Yay for democracy. <laughs> I hope that guy's not a dictator. If he was, then I feel really bad for Mexicans. But so far, democracy is on the rise. <laughs> It's mostly just authoritarianism and democracies. That's all that is. Like, there's no other ideology that just comes out of nowhere. There's no fascism or communism just yet. It might say just yet, it's because, uh... Yes. Them. Alright, yeah. Balkans are gonna lose their war. Basically, the Ottomans are gonna be like, Screw you, we're gonna kill you all. Like, the Ottomans should just surrender right now, because that's- Because basically that's all they're doing. Oh, sorry. I, I just I got a bit, bit I got distracted from Discord. All right. All right. So it looks like Italy and Germany has taken the Alps, <coughs> <coughs> which means this could be the end of the Great Austro-Hungarian Empire. Dun 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 d
And Mexico has fell once again into another civil war. This time it's the socialists. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Demo Democrats versus socialists. So we actually might we actually have a rise of socialism right here in Mexico. This one I gotta keep an eye out on. Because again, it's Mexico. Gain or a support. They're going down the monarchist path. They're basically just going down the monarchy path, like. Yeah, they're about to invite their prince. <laughs> prince Louis. Now, obviously they got like two options. Now, yeah, they got two options here. They can destroy the buffer state or save Portugal. Then unite their empires into one state. Which means reverse colonialism. Brazil will be the one to colonize Portugal. Oof. Unless they decide to unite again. Unless they do to unite and then move the capital to uh, Libsyn. Like, I could go ahead and move the British capital all the way to Ottawa. But no, it's not in Ottawa. It's in London. I'm going to put an image of Wolf. Ooh, okay, what do we have here? Okay, so the Austro-Hungarian Empire has fallen. Yep. Goodbye, Austria, Hungary. I might have to fix these borders up, so, but... Uh, yeah, I might have to fix these borders, like Transylvania... All that stuff. But damn, Germany be looking thick. <laughs> yeah, they look like, um... They look like, um... They look like what they did in World War Two. Just saying. Uh, we will let uh, we'll let time take its course. Oh, Russia did do something with Glacia. They had them annex. Okay, I'm gonna fix these borders up. These borders look so terrible. Not gonna lie. If I just I might okay, I'm just gonna fix these borders up because the Hungarian borders look terrible. Unless are they going to? Oh, don't they have like a uh, focus where they can? Oh, I can see what they're doing. I can see what they will be doing. They're going to restore the Holy Roman Empire. Romac. Oh, they're gonna try and also conquer Italy, all that. Basically just try and restore Burgundy. A line from north. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, maybe the uglier borders look better. I'm gonna lie. I'm just gonna keep the uglier borders because he doesn't like ugly borders. Of quakes and thunderstorms, they're smashing through. Alright, um... Okay, so, so far so good. So, we basically just established new nations here. We've got the Kingdom of Slovene, oh no, State of Slovenes, Roats and Serbs. Which is just Illatria. That's because it's basically born in Kaiserreich. Um, I can't have the central powers go to war with the Entente just yet because reasons. The best. But, um, yeah. Though, I think I'm going to end it off for. Um, I'm going to save and I'm going to. UK game 2. Okay, I'm gonna end this up for, um... I'm gonna end this off for the day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Heart of Iron video. Sayonara, peeps.